Hey YouTube, Man 20 here tonight, and tonight we're going to be putting my rescued brown recluse spider into our new vivaria. Hopefully it goes well, we'll see. First and foremost, before we dive in too deep, that, don't look at that. That's not done. That is for a future episode. I understand huge crack up here. You ain't supposed to be looking at that, but uh, anything can get out of that. So I will get there, it will get done, you will see it. Not right now though. My friend Gary is also one of my mentors, uh, or the snake man as he's more commonly referred to as, hit me up and said, hey, I have a brown recluse spider, would you want it? And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? Uh, it'd be a great little animal to tinker with. Anyway, he had found it in his basement, didn't want to get bit, and it was snowy outside, so he didn't just want to let it outside because it would die. So uh, he went ahead and put it inside a jar, held on to it. I ended up with it, and uh, here it is sitting in front of me. It would be perfectly content inside a little cage like that, or a little jar, a little tub, or whatever you want to refer to that as. But I kind of like the looks of live planted cages. It's kind of my thing. It's a, something I really enjoy looking at. So I actually made this, which you probably can't see very well because it's not very well lit. But I have moss in the bottom. I have bark back here along the back. It's a little moist, but he can climb up the bark, get up there, and stay dry. Because they do stay relatively dry where they're naturally found. But uh, we're going to get him out and put him in there. And the only way I know how to do that is with my hands. Now while I'm handling this spider, we will talk a little bit about how dangerous they truly are and uh, hopefully you can learn a little bit about them. But uh, I'm going to go change a couple camera angles around and see you back soon. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Venom Man, you really didn't change angles whatsoever. Well, I did add a second camera so you can get all the close-up shots so you can actually see what's going on as I'm holding this spider. Uh, I figure if he's going to be crawling around on my hands, up and down my arms, the least you can do is come a little bit closer. It ain't gonna hurt you. Well, with that being said, I mean, this is probably the most feared spider in North America. Uh, people just tend to not like these guys, and for kind of a good reason. I mean, they have a very hemotoxic venom, uh, possibly life-ending hemotoxic venom. Of course, hemotoxin attacks the red blood cells and pretty much eats away at the tissue. That tissue either be in your skin, your uh, subcutaneous fats underneath there, uh, blood vessels, you know, just kind of eats away at everything. Leaves a nice nec yeah, necro a nice wound. <laughs> I can't speak tonight. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get him out. There we go. Oh, he's high-telling it too. You're running. So you're probably like, well, Brandon, why are you putting this thing on your hand? That is stupid, and you're probably right. Um, but with that being said, in theory, from a physics standpoint, this guy is not big enough to bite me. Because he has tiny little fangs, and I have relatively thick skin. Ooh, he is fast. But with that being said, I don't want to cause or push down on him whatsoever. So I don't want him to fall onto me. And I do not want to put my arm against the table with him right there because that is exactly how he would get his fangs through my flesh. So you're like, but people get bit by these all the time, right? And I'm like, no, nah, not really. Uh, the truth of the matter is people get a pimple, they think it's a brown recluse bite. Uh, people have allergies, they think it's a brown recluse bite. Uh, people get some little red lump. Uh, you know, MRSA, they think it's a brown recluse bite. If you have MRSA, go to the hospital. That's worse than a brown recluse bite. That will kill you. You know, these could kill you. It is possible. Uh, but the average person that dies from this is a seven-year-old child or under, or the elderly. And it's very rare that an adult would die from a brown recluse bite. I gotta use the camera angle to get him off my elbow. Hey, bud. That's a really stupid angle. There we go. Anyway, so people are just afraid of these guys. They freak out all the time, you know. Everything to them is a brown recluse as well. I will post a picture up in the corner of this video. You can look at it. 
A brown recluse has a very uniform color. They do have that little violin shape right above their thorax, the abdomen. You can actually tell, okay, that's definitely a brown recluse. But otherwise, they don't have any stripes, no crazy markings. A lot of people think that every wolf spider they have ever seen is a brown recluse. Um, they are pretty common uh, where they live. I'll put a list of all the states that they actually live in across the video because I can't remember them all. Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, uh, you know, there's quite a few. Nebraska, I do believe. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and try to get him down in here so I can finish up my little conversation here talking about these guys. <laughs> you are all over the place, little guy. Now he knows he's going to fall. Let's see. If I can get you on the end of my finger. Going into my finger. Come on. No, you don't want on my arm. Get on my finger. One interesting thing. Ah, don't fall. Falling ain't good for you or for me. Well, that ain't what we want. I don't like it when you get between my fingers. Just to clarify, like that's not my favorite. So these guys do build webs, but I've kept them for years and never really even seen their web. It's a very hard thing to see. They don't build it to catch bugs. They just kind of build it around their area, whatever. They keep it pretty flat to the ground, kind of like some of the tarantulas do. They don't really build like some elaborate web. As I was moving him around my arm, I seen the web that he was building on me. So, so I have this built. I have moss down in the bottom. I have a piece of bark up top. Uh, I like the live plants. These guys ain't really arboreal. Like they climb a little bit, but nothing crazy. So uh, I don't know how he's going to like this. I'm not exactly sure. I've, I've been looking for a decent jar, a jar that would be fitting to him. And the couple that I've found just didn't work out. Like this one's working better than than the other ones. This top, I'm going to switch out. It ain't quite right. This is actually off my watch case, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use for a top. But I'm going to put something clear up there because I want light to be able to penetrate through so we can get that moss growing real good. And uh, he could get up underneath that moss or get behind the bark. If he gets lost in there, that's fine. I know he's still in there. That's all that really matters. So, uh, so far I'm just feeding him little tiny crickets and everything. He's pretty cool. I like them. They're an interesting species for sure. I'm talking about how these guys really aren't that bad, you know. Nine out of ten bites don't show any signs of anything, you know, just like a little tiny red lump, uh, nothing major. But that tenth bite, you know, will cause scarring, will cause a necrotic uh, wound, uh, you know, just a, a hole. It'll leave a hole in you essentially. But people are so afraid of these little brown recluse spiders. Like I was actually doing research online and some of the stuff that I came across I thought was fact. I read farther into it and realized that even the articles online that you're doing your research for is, I mean, they're not even right. So it, it's hard. There's so many miss, so much misinformation, I should say, out there about where these guys live and how they hunt and how deadly they truly are. You know, being an adult human, hopefully you're over seven years old if you're watching my videos. Uh, they really cause no harm to you. And, and the best example of that, there was a house in Kansas, I can't remember, the town starts with an L, uh, it's got an E in it somewhere, I think maybe even an X, whatever. I don't remember the name of the town, bad memory. Uh, there was a household, a 19th century house, just infested with brown recluses. They called in an exterminator to get rid of them. They said they ended up catching 2,055 brown recluses within a six month period. And there was four people, I do believe, living in the house, and not a single person had ever been bit by one that they know of. Um, so that just kind of goes to show you, 
if you want to get bit by a brown recluse, like if that's your goal, the easiest way to do that is just to leave your clothes on the floor. If the statistics right, I'm not sure that it is. They said nine out of 10 brown recluse bites come from people just discarding their clothes onto their floor and then putting them back on. Because you leave them there a couple of days, the spider goes to hide in them, whatever. And as you put that shirt on, it puts pressure against the spider. And once that spider has the pressure against your skin, he feels threatened, he's gonna bite you. And when he bites you, he has enough pressure to actually make it through your skin. Just like him, me having him or her on my hand, in theory, in theory, it's just a theory, I should be safe. There shouldn't be enough weight there to actually puncture my skin. I didn't like having them on my wrist. I don't like having them between my fingers. Why well, don't I don't like having them between my fingers? Well, if I twitch, that's not good. And sometimes I twitch, you know, it happens. But uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really, talking all about these spiders, hoping that you're gonna go on some crazy conservation scheme to save the spiders. You know, honestly, you're not gonna wipe these guys out anyway. Uh, these guys are pretty indestructible. If you're terrified of them and you have a house full of them and you spray all the pesticides in the world, you're probably still not gonna kill them. A uh, pesticide, it would have to be wet when it actually touches the spider. You're gonna spray it around the edges of the house like the internet says to do and it's not gonna kill them. I, I mean, they're gonna go across it when it's dry, and at that point, it's already too late. These guys are almost immune to everything. They're pretty, pretty sturdy little spiders. You are gonna kill their food, and then from keeping them, I've kinda noticed they don't really care if their food's alive or dead, they'll eat anything. So, uh, you just made hunting a lot easier for them. Good job. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, if you could take anything away from this, uh, I would highly recommend just try to get over your fear. Try not to be afraid of something so tiny. I mean, we're thousands of times bigger than these little tiny spiders, which are pretty harmless. I mean, the only other spider in North America that you truly need to worry about is the black widow. And uh, the black widow is a nocturnal spider that stays inside a web that's normally tucked away inside a hole. You know, unless you're reaching into holes at night, you know, it's probably a pretty bad idea, but. If you're not doing that, you probably aren't gonna have an issue with the Black Widows either. Um, those are a little bit more toxic. Those could kill you, you know, compared to this guy. They make me just a little bit more nervous. But uh, I don't know, all in all, I just don't be afraid of the spiders. You know, I was afraid of spiders till I was about seven years old and I got over that fear. I, I didn't like being afraid of something that really couldn't hurt me. They say statistically, on average, people are more afraid of spiders than they are of death yet spiders don't kill people. So, I mean, you know, the Brazilian wandering spider could kill you, you know, the Sydney funnel web could kill you, uh, red backs or the black widows could kill you in theory, but you're safe. <laughs> you probably texted on your way to work today, so you're good. That, that's way more dangerous than that. Anyway, uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this video. I'll be coming out with more content. I'm gonna build another of these, but a lot bigger. Uh, for a bigger spider. So I'm gonna try to have that done by next week. No promises, but I do have a uh, video coming out on the next pet store I'm gonna go see. Um, it's got some pretty cool venom snakes. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, see you soon. Bye.